Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at the orthonormality of different energy eigenstates. So we have from a previous video that uh, all physical states in quantum mechanics are normalized. But in addition, for uh, any two different uh, energy eigenstates of the infinite potential well are also, also orthogonal to each other, by which we mean the following. The integral of phi n star with phi n uh, over all of space, in this case over the uh, range of the well, is equal to zero if n doesn't equal n. Together, these two conditions tell us that the states are both normalized and orthogonal, and we abbreviate this to orthonormal. So the statement is as follows. So the integral of phi n star phi m over all of space is equal to the Kronecker delta, which is defined to be 1 if n equals m and 0 if n doesn't equal m. This is an incredibly useful relation, uh, which uh, we'll put to much use uh, in the coming uh, videos. It doesn't just hold for energy eigenstates of the infinite potential well. It holds for a much broader class of problems, uh, and we'll see much more of that when we come to look at matrix mechanics uh, later on in the course. For now, let's look at a work example where we show this explicitly uh, in for the eigenstates of the infinite potential well. Who's a good boy? <laughs> I've got a cameo from Jeffrey in the background. All right, so let's take a look at some the energy eigenstates of the infinite potential well. Another quick reminder as to what the uh, potential looks like. We have potential going from 0 to L along X up to infinity here uh, and 0 within the well. And we've seen that the um, normalized eigenfunctions look like this. And this time we'd like to prove that two um, eigenfunctions are um, orthogonal to each other. So uh, the, what this means is that integral from minus infinity to infinity of phi n star x phi m x dx equals um, delta n m, which by definition equals uh, 1 if n equals m, 0 if n doesn't equal m. Orthogonal, uh, of course, implies something that there's some similarity to two vectors being at 90 degrees, and we'll see when we study matrix mechanics that there's actually a very close analogy to, uh, to that idea. So uh, let's, to show this for the, uh, the eigenstates of the uh, infinite well, let's just substitute this expression into here. So we get a 2 over L up the front. Uh, integral only goes from 0 to L because phi is 0 outside of that range. Sine n pi x over l sine m pi x over l dx okay we're going to need to use another uh, trigonometric identity uh, this time we need to use that um, cos of a plus b equals cos a cos b minus sine a sine b and therefore cos a minus b equals cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. Okay, so if we put um, a equals n pi x over l, b equals m pi x over l, we want to um, add this one, sorry, subtract this one from this one, and that'll give us the two signs. Sorry, you can't quite see it there. So we want to uh, subtract this expression from this expression. That'll give us sine, 2 sine a sine b over here. Um, and so overall we'll have, um, so we'll have a factor of 2 that we bring out the front. So we have 1 over L integral from 0 to L. Um, cos of a minus b, so it's n minus m pi x over L minus cos n plus m pi x over l dx. 
this integrates to these will become sines sine n minus m pi x over l divided by n minus m pi and multiply by l uh, minus sine n plus m pi x over l divided by n plus m pi multiply by l between 0 and l okay well the l's cancel so that's good news um, when we stick sine of 0 is 0 so the 0 limit is always 0 uh, when we substitute the l in um, this one is always going to be 0 because m plus m uh, for integer n and m is always an integer as l sum of two integers is an integer um, uh, and so this is times pi substitute the ln here these two cancel so it's an integer times pi sine of that is always zero so this one disappears this one also almost disappears the zero limit disappears when we put l in uh, so we have sine of n minus m times pi well n minus m is also an integer for integer n and m the only problem is when n equals m this is zero sine of zero is zero good but n minus m is also zero on the bottom uh, and zero divided by zero is undefined so let's substitute it in the only one we need to worry about sine n minus m pi divided by n minus m pi so to work out what that is uh, we use L'Hopital's rule differentiate the top and bottom um, and we can differentiate them with respect to say n minus m uh, so this thing must equal um, uh, so we multiply this, we get cos pi cos n minus m pi. Differentiate with respect to n minus m, and we just get a pi on the bottom. Cancel those. This is evaluated at n equals m, uh, and so this thing equals 1. Uh, and so we found that if we have put anything else, anything other than n equals m into here, it would have disappeared because if n and m are different integers, this is non-zero, this is zero, the whole thing is zero. If n equals m, it evaluates to one. And that's precisely what we wanted to show. It, um, we've shown the orthogonality of these eigenstates. And in fact, we've shown that they're orthonormal because we've already normalized the eigenstates. So uh, the uh, normalized eigenstates of the states within the, in the infinite well uh, are orthonormal. Okay, thanks for your time.